Welcome back to the Dozki. I am Gray, and today we have some more finished first division matches for you. Actually, today I'm going to record a few of them, and um, after looking at this, I didn't realize it, but uh, if you look at our last match and our upcoming next three matches, we just took on FC Jazz last time. And after that, we have Yippo, which is what we're going to do today, and then JJK, and then Viking, and then KTP. We have basically four matches until the last match. Um, shit, I want to say until like uh, a couple days ago on the game. Um, Viking, it was close to the relegation zone where Yippo was. Actually, I think they switched places. Um, Viking, it moved up to sixth, and Yippo dropped to eighth, I think. But anyway, um, like I said, as you see right here, we got two teams that are in the relegation zone. Um, FC Jazz, which we've already beaten. Yippo, which is on the edge. And Viking it coming up. Um, and we really should find a way to take advantage of these matches. These are matches that we really need to get points out of. Um, so that's really going to be the focus uh, of, of the next few games, really. Um... I think I'm going to kind of continue with what we got with Hagblum, Heitinen, and Raisinen, and Granholm, and all that good stuff here. Um, I am going to drop uh, uh, Onal, just because, just for fitness issues, just to keep him kind of spry. Um, there isn't much that we really need to talk about, at least that, nothing that I can really remember. Um, but, uh, yeah, I do have to apologize. I haven't really been um, uploading this with any real uh, um, consistency. And I apologize. That's mostly because Omega Ruby came out. And I've been playing the hell out of that. Um, and, but you've seen those videos if you've watched them already. Um, and also we started uh, um, Lord of the Rings. And I'm pretty excited about that. Also, for a couple weeks there, I got, I got kind of distracted by World of Warcraft. Then I got really disenchanted with it, and now I'm yeah, back on Lord of the Rings, and I should be back on a schedule. And also, I should mention as well <laughs> that I really got hooked on this game again, but I was playing by Galway File, and yeah. You know, when I get stuck playing this game, I really get stuck into playing this game. So um, we'll see how this goes, and like I said, today I, I wanna, really want to get through these matches up to KTP because KTP is going to be a big one and I think I'll stop there. Um, I still have a couple matches left to upload actually and one of them is going to go up today later. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, that's kind of where we're at because, um, you know, we kind of got off track with a bunch of other games and all that stuff. Um, I do have something that I might, might try and do for a Christmas break, um, but that's enough of that. We'll get back into football now. Anyhow, um, like I said, uh, Yippo shouldn't, I like, uh, they shouldn't be too much of a, too much of a, of a, of a, I don't know, a challenge, and as long as we play a good defense and don't do what we just did right there and turn the ball over, and that's, that's one thing that's going to, as I said, it's going to really, really hurt us, I think, in the long run, and might actually end up, you know, ruining our chances of, uh, of, of winning promotion this year. We are still sitting at top of the table, I believe, unless KTP got any points, but I don't think they did. Um, so, you know, like I said, but it, it's probably only momentary. Luckily for us, there's a lot of parity in this first division, which is good, which means you don't have any one team or other two teams or anything like that that are just running away at the top of the table, and we got to try and play catch up with them the whole fucking season. Luckily for us, we can... You know, there's a lot of parity, so meaning, you know, everyone's probably going to beat everyone, and anyone can draw points against anyone, which is very, very wonderful. Very, very wonderful indeed. Um, like I said, it gives us a lot of opportunities, and it, and it keeps the race close and gives us a real good quality chance, even if we're not the best team in the division, to still win promotion. Oh, hurrah -la. That was a good, That was a good little turn and shoot there. Um, you know, first three minutes into this match, or four minutes, really, I mean, it's... Like I said, our defense is, is going to be what's what's going to be called into question constantly. Um, and honestly, I don't really know how I feel about that. I mean, you know, I've always, like I said, I've always, you know, preferred to keep clean sheets over scoring. Um, in in yeah. Um, also, one thing. Um, 
uh, I didn't mention this while I was setting the game up, setting the match up. When you do the, um, oh, when you do like the uh, the team um, instructions and individual instructions, you know, there are opposition instructions. That's what it is. Sorry about that. Couldn't fucking remember what the hell it was called. Opposition instructions. Um, it's best to not do it as much with lower league teams. I noticed this because I started, I picked up another team on my Galway file. I, I started another coach and, and I've been playing with him as well and ooh you get yeah 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 as I say, no, not that bad pass but I don't know why I decided to float that like that I was never gonna get there but um uh yeah the using opposition instructions with weaker teams not really gonna ooh not really gonna make a whole lot of things happen honestly I, I tried using it and tried you know it it just got worse honestly so yeah it keep the simpler you keep it um, for lower league teams, like I said before, this team has decent players, so I think we can we'll be all right doing what we've been doing. I mean, obviously we've been doing pretty well, so you know there's not much not much to really complain about. We have had a few matches that have been pretty piss poor, but um, most of those are you know because our defense is just lacking. Like I said, I hate that. I hate hate having to admit that, you know. But it is what it is, and as I mentioned before, I mean, there's just a huge, huge, um, at least so far in the time I've played it, a huge lack of quality central defenders. I mean, it's just like, like I said, the game just produces so many attacking, good attacking midfielders that, that you know, there's just not very many central defenders out there. None at all. It's ridiculous. Same thing with keepers. It's like, good God. Yeah, we were granted like one world class goalkeeper ever. <laughs> and we're not really Oh well, yeah, this has been a little bit too even for me. I mean I don't I don't see why we should be at home here having having this much trouble, but you know, having surrendered you know, some of the some of the possession to yeah, that was not a good pass. Yeah. Uh, it's, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, I, I, like I said, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised the way things are going right now, because, you know, like, like I said, there's a good amount of parity in, in the Finnish first division, so, I mean, it's, I guess it's, oh my, Jesus, I'm going to rely on our keeper to make those sorts of saves, we're not going to be in, in in uh in a good position to win this match later. But as long as we can get to halftime, and that's something too, if you play this game, you know that sometimes you just want to get through the first forty five. If you can get there, you know, and you've had a poor forty five minutes, all you want to do is just get there without without any damage being done. You know, and, and in this case, you know, no goals that we can you know now of course if we score a goal here, which no that pass is too heavy, but if we manage to score a goal here and you know it makes things a little different but man they're looking nervous see yeah, that's one thing i hate oh my god i've had players that have been on my teams for years and they're always looking nervous it's like dude seriously and not and like even against bad teams too it's like why would you why it's all right all right anyway uh i'm gonna be mean try and motivate them that was a good response, at least. I mean, hopefully we can get over this nervousness and get down to business. But, yeah. It is what it is. Um, uh, yeah. I really don't know what else. I don't think there's anything else I need to update or talk about. I'll try to get that out of the way before we get the match on the way, but, yeah. Like I said, we just need better defenders. That's all there is to it. I said, I think we got enough creativity and... Oh, Jesus. Uh, got lucky with that because they were running through midfield right there. And, and if that was anywhere anywhere close to the middle of the pitch, those two would... I mean, that would have been free on goal. So our defenders were not tracking them at all. Not at all, but I might... Uh, no, should I? No, I'm gonna kind of let them do their thing, and 
that, that that's the frustrating thing too, is because uh, because of the where we have Hagblum playing. Jesus, there it is. Ah, <sighs> yeah, I knew that one was fucking coming. I mean, we, we been just fucking poor. Should have I should have done this earlier because I knew I knew this position was going to be a problem at a, a central attacking midfielder, but I didn't do anything about it. I tried to keep it as simple as possible because with Hagblum playing over there and he's not comfortable with the position, he's he's not going to be as assertive as he should be, and he's just going to fucking you know let people run by him like he has been, and that's what happens. You know, um, and if you give them too many instructions, give them too much to fucking think about, you know, then they get even worse. And that's why I tried not to not to have them mark that central attacking midfielder or anything like that. I figured, you know, need possibly too many too many instructions and just let that kind of let that kind of be it. But and now and now, oh God, somebody fucking deal with it. Just clear it for the love of fucking Christ. Ugh. And then and then we got Statue out here who should have been running onto that fucking ball, just fucking standing there. I mean, at least give it a shot, Jesus. Yeah, well this is this is a loss, I can tell you that right now. There's no there's no there's no goal in it for us right now. I mean it's you know, and that's one thing that's kind of annoying not, like, that's kind of annoying about this game. It's like you, I guess if maybe it's just because I've played it so much. You know, you get to a point where you know, you know there isn't going to be a fight back. You know, there's going to be no comeback. You know, that's what you, that's probably the best we're going to get right there. Shots like that, shots that are just going to fucking sail off into nowhere. But I mean, eh, like I said, it's frustrating as hell because you know it's. I don't know, I mean, I guess it's realistic, you know, I mean, I guess you can kind of tell when the team is out of it, and they're just not gonna, not gonna put up anything, but, I mean, it's gonna take something special for us to fucking do anything. You know, we only had that one good chance with Harala, and now Stavsila, just fucking Christ. <sighs> ah. Yeah, and that's something too, it's really... And Football Manager 12, like, it was, you could consistently, you know, at least consistently be a threat on corners. You know, I mean, I haven't been able to figure out how to do that on this one yet. It's, it's unfortunate because it's a big part of the game, and, and when you're not, you know, when you're not threatening from set pieces, I mean, it's, it's, it just makes the game that much harder, and you need to be able to, to do that, honestly. Um... I mean, it's just that's just the way it is. I mean, my my Galway team scores a little bit, but not very often. At least not in games that matter. You know, against the better teams, they don't ever don't ever score from corners all that much. Yeah. You know, like I said, as, as the time just continues to dwindle and dwindle and dwindle here, we're not gonna. Oh Jesus. Oh my God. Missed tackles. And like I said, once again, it's our fucking piss poor defending. I mean, we don't have any. We don't have any quality defenders, or at least a number of quality defenders that, that can step in and play. Uh, that's one thing, like. I don't like having that handicap. And that's why. That's one of the reasons why I always have a, a big team. You know, a large, a large squad. Oh Jesus! Why did you stop running and then just do that shit? That was fucking. Ah. Uh, uh. It's everything but the finish today. It seems. I mean, we can, we can get there and create a couple chances, but once we get there, there's nothing. There's okay. That's fine. Just stand around, Harala, and waddle around with the ball. <sighs> oh jeez, you got you got a chance there, and oh, thank God! 
Did not think we had that. We really be we really, we really be needing we really be needing the three points here. We really do need the three points here. I mean, like I said, we have to take advantage of these these matches against lower teams. I mean, if we were playing Haka or KTP, I mean, a one one draw is perfectly fine with me. I'm not upset with that, but. And, uh, making sure I did miss. See, that's one thing too. Like this thing, the um, the instructions. I have it set for like it's supposed to be up here for like three seconds or something like that, or four seconds. Not long enough to fucking see anything. If you're watching the action and shit like that, and you know paying attention to what's going on, when that when this guy pops up and says something, and asks you to make a change about something, it is not up there long enough. Ugh. Well, we got 10 minutes here. Ah, okay, never mind. Five, four, <laughs> four minutes or so to make, to to steal the three points here, and it'd be, it'd be good of us if we could steal. I haven't made any substitutions yet. Um, if you haven't noticed, I'm sure you have, but I just don't really have much, not much planned. I mean, if I were to look at down here. Yeah. I mean, if we had a lead or a goal, at least I would try try and do something. But you know, this is pretty much our best shot out here. Is the players that we have on the pitch? No, something. There we go. Fuck. <laughs> uh, that's about as good as chances you're gonna get to score to score this game to win this game right there. Of course, you know, now that I look at that, I probably should have pulled him at some point. And, but at least we had two minutes of, well, one minute of extra time here, or injury time to fucking do something. He's got the assist, at least, Gorky Alho does, but. Oh. No. No, 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 no. Whatever's happening here, don't let it happen. Ah. <laughs> uh. That's the uh, once again. That's why I like that that central def that central defender, that defensive midfielder playing as a halfback. There, he's able to come back there and help relieve the pressure. Because I don't think Hagblom or Heiten or Reisenen rather, are going to be smart enough to fucking do anything intelligent with that. And now we have a chance. But that what was that? That was neither a cross nor a shot. All in all, it's very very disappointing. Um. Yeah, but that seems to be, I don't know, I'm not going to say that seems to be the way things are going. That is the way things are going to go in these first couple seasons with the players that we have. I mean, it's going to kind of be stop and go and, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be jittery and it's, it's weird. I mean, it, it sucks because you know, once again, you, you saw against like the, the, um, the FC Jazz and, and even, uh, Haka, you know, when, when we can put together a good game, I mean, we're we're not bad. We're pretty good, you know. But it's maintaining that consistent consistency that's a problem. The good thing is, though, at least we got a point today. That's really, really once again, I can't stress that enough. Getting points every day, every day, every game is going to be very, very important. That's going to be what determines who wins and who loses really i mean that you know it loses the league at the end of the season so anyway and that does it for this episode if you made it this far on youtube you know what to do thanks a lot for watching and remember the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional <laughs>